In the race for the White House, we know that Wisconsin will be pivotal. Both, vi both vice presidential candidates are spending this final full day of campaigning in the state. That tells you something, right? But there are seven battleground states, 513 counties that hold the key to the White House this time around. So CBS News Director of Elections and Surveys, Anthony Salvanto, zoomed in for us on one very important county. In Madison, Democrats traditionally do very well. A lot of votes cast there. They're going to try to run up margins, whereas across the central part of the state, more rural areas, but rather consistent margins for Donald Trump in this election. We'll see if those patterns repeat themselves. So he's referring to Dane County. That's where Madison is. Joe Biden carried that county in 2020 and performed better than Hillary Clinton in the previous cycle in that county, but still uh, only won the state by about 20,000 votes. So that shows you that counties like Dane are going to be a big deal this time around. It helped Biden make those gains that he needed to secure the state in 2020. If that changes, things could change. Then you've got Door County. Maybe you saw this on 60 Minutes recently, but it is the only county in a battleground state that has voted for the winning presidential candidate in the last six elections. Biden carried the county by just 292 votes in 2020. That was the tightest margin in the state. All of this to say, experts are watching Wisconsin closely right now. We'll see how it plays out this week. And you'll have to be patient as well when it comes to Wisconsin. They do things differently than here in Minnesota when it comes to counting absentee ballots. So in Minnesota, they're already processing absentee ballots. I was talking with Esme about it. They can basically do this in real time, but that is not the case in a number of battleground states like Wisconsin. They can't even open those ballots until 7 a.m. on Election Day. If you mailed something in, they can't even uh, start opening it. So making it one of the last states to start processing those ballots. Wisconsin results are simply going to take longer and we will certainly be watching.